Today we are embarking on a journey to the East Coast with a beloved regional dish. Here to take us back to New Brunswick with a savory bowl of maritime fish chowder. Straight from the pages of this, his latest cookbook, Cook with Confidence, it's Chef Dennis Prescott. <laughs> Beautiful book. Thanks for joining us, Chef. Thank you for having me. It is very good to have, uh, have you here. We're making a fish chowder. We are. And so, you know, this is a recipe that stands the test of time. Mm. People love it, but you've put your own twist on it. Am <sighs> I right? Chowder people are my kind of people, yeah. to be honest. Uh, this is my own twist. All East Coasters have the, especially Maritimers and New Brunswickers, sorry, have mm -hmm. their own version of a chowder. This is mine. I yeah. love it. It's delicious. I would argue it's the best chowder you've ever had in your life. Got it. Uh, it's and the we're going to make one. it today. Okay, good. Yeah. How do we start the uh, recipe? So we in here, we've got our pot of vegetables. Uh, we've got the classics, uh, onion, celery, potatoes, bay leaf, and fish stock. And those are just mm -hmm. gently cooking down until the potatoes are just about fork tender. That's going to really flavor all of our veggies really nicely. Can you guys smell it already? Can you smell it? Isn't it's it nice? And all of the garlic that you could possibly put in a pot. Just to me, put it in. If a recipe says four, put 20. Yes, um, I'm with you. Yeah, so we're going to go in here. Uh, like I said, you can see it's just simmering away. We're going to go in here with milk. Nice. So what kind of milk do you like to use, We chef? We have got whole milk in here. You yeah. could adjust that if you wanted to. I think recipes are made, uh, you know, to taste as best as they can, of course. But if you need to adjust it, that's fine. But whole milk is going to give you that maximum flavor. Very We've nice. We've got cream going in here as well. Just to make sure that you remember that it's delicious. This is maybe not a diet dish, but it's absolutely delicious. Right. And we've got fish. Okay, so let's talk about this fish. What yeah. fish would you usually put in your recipe? So we're going in with cod today. Uh, mm -hmm. Cod is very easily ac accessible on the East Coast, especially in New Brunswick. Yeah. Uh, haddock as well. Really, you just want a white fish. So, uh, you know, with fish, I think the best thing you can do is talk to your local fishmonger, your local fish market, ask good yes. questions, find out what's locally available and what's going to taste the best because they're the experts. Absolutely, and I'm assuming that you're going to lean towards something more sustainable when it comes to your fish? Yeah, you definitely want to you know, be conscious and thoughtful about where your food comes from. The yeah. nice thing about this cookbook is it really breaks down how you buy everything. And, you know, yeah. little things that we can look for. I think it's a challenging conversation for sure, and what do we buy? So I wanted yeah. to really kind of, in a fun, ac accessible way, give people some information to help because we all want to be, you know, feed people great food, and we all want to mm. eat delicious food. Lemon zest. If yes. you've never used lemon zest before, it's absolutely, it's a great way of using the whole citrus, and you don't always want that juice in there as well. So okay. it gives the flavor of the lemon without the actual juice. Yeah, it's so like lemon wanna... plus, right? You get a major punch of it, and a little goes a long way. 100%. So that, we had some smoked paprika go in there, nice. a little bit of pepper. And that's just really going to gently cook away. With fish, you want it to be gentle, Give it the time that it needs. It doesn't yeah. need a long time mm -hmm. for something like a white fish. And you're left with something absolutely Ooh. beautiful. So it doesn't take long to get there. Do not overcook your fish. We talked a little bit about this. People tend to be, get a little nervous about fish. Yes. Right? So, yeah. But it doesn't need to be manhandled. It needs to be treated gently. Gently. Low, yeah. and, low and slow. Don't manhandle handle your fish. Don't man yes, if you right? take out if you take away anything today. Don't man <laughs> don't don't be a manhandler. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you want to, I mean fi fish can be scary for for a lot of yes, folks. I think if you've never bit. cooked fish before, yeah. uh, there are so many of course across the board lots of vegetarian and uh, you know beef, pork, etc. recipes in the cookbook, but yeah. fish becoming from where I come from it's near and dear to my heart. I yeah. love seafood. I love fish. And I really wanted to explain how you work with that. Because yeah. we go, we spend our hard-earned money. We put the time into creating a dish. We want it to taste delicious. Yeah. Well, listen, it looks like it's ready. Um, I'm going to get you to plate it up. But 100%. you say people get a little bit scared about their fish. There are people like me who are just scared to cook in general. Yes. So, so you're like, not I cooking just, confidently. I'm not cooking confidently, chef. And so let's do a little therapy session. I like the fact that you learned to cook as an adult. This isn't something like uh, that you were doing as a child. You mm -hmm. learned it along the way. Tell us a little bit about how you became a confident cook, like what that journey was like for you. You know, the 30,000 foot for me was I was a musician for about yeah. 10 years. I moved to Nashville, Tennessee. I was a guitar player. Mm -hmm. I lived in a very glamorous lifestyle in Nashville where I basically slept in either a 15 passenger van or on an air mattress. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it, Sounds it, luxe. It's amazing, yeah. actually. Uh, but 
I started cooking. I went to the library, I borrowed some cookbooks, I cooked for a big table full of people, and I fell in love with these beautiful moments that we create where we spend an extra hour at the table. I think we're better people when we spend more time at the table yeah. around great food. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, both this cookbook and really everything I do is to help encourage people to spend those special moments at the shared table. Okay, I love that. I love the idea of that. While you played that up, you know, you had mentioned that it was that moment when everyone's sitting around and it doesn't matter how fancy it is. You can be sitting on milk crates. You're right. But that moment when the food is plated and people are sitting there and there's a little moment of silent and silence and they're about to eat, that's the moment you live for. And I think that that's really beautiful because that's about community. A hundred percent. Right? Yeah. Very nice. People coming together around the table, it's the best thing in the world. Little dill on here if you have access to it. I love dill. Same. Very you can nice. either do that or, or a nice piece of bread, bread, chowder, best friends. I'm Let's go in for a taste. A little... uh... Oh my gosh, it's the best chowder I've ever tasted, Chef. <laughs> no one's done it better than you. You can make this at home because everyone is going to go home with their own copy of Cook with Confidence by Dennis Prescott. I always want to make sure it's not upside down. <laughs> Head over to CityLine.tv for the full recipe and more City 